Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at how the halogens react with metals to make metal halides. Okay, if we start off with the word equation then. Nice and simply, if you take a metal, you react it with a halogen, it will make a metal halide. All you need to do to name that metal halide is take the name of the metal, take the name of the halogen, and change the ending from I-N-E to I-D-E. So for example, if I react magnesium and bromine together, I will get magnesium bromide. And then it's just a case of swapping the names of the metals and the halogens around. So for example, if I had sodium reacting with bromine, it would become sodium bromide. If it was sodium reacting with chlorine, it would become sodium chloride. So as you can see, the pattern stays the same. It does become a little bit more complicated when we get onto the symbol equations. It depends on what the group the metal is in. So let's have a look at some examples. Now hopefully you'll remember that in groups 1, 2 and 3 you have ions that are positive. Group 1 loses 1 electron becomes 1 plus, group 2, 2 plus, and group 3, 3 plus. This means that the formula for group 1 is going to be metal halide, 1M, 1H. Group 2, you're going to have 1 metal and 2 of your halides. And group 3, you're going to have 1 metal and 3 halides. So if you look at some examples, let's start off with group 1. We're going to react potassium, which is K, with chlorine. Remember they're diatomic, so Cl2, and it's going to make potassium chloride. We know the formula is one metal and one halide, therefore it's going to be KCl. The next thing you need to do is balance it. Now you can see here I've got two chlorines. Therefore, on the right, I need to put a 2 in front of my KCl. If I do that, it gives me two potassiums, so I need to put a 2 in front of my K on the left-hand side, which gives me two of each, and it's balanced. If we move on to group 2, so I'm going to react magnesium with chlorine this time, and it's going to make magnesium chloride we have the formula MH2, so I have two of my halogens, so it becomes MgCl2. Therefore, it is already balanced. I've got one magnesium and two chlorines on either side. And finally, group three, let's choose aluminium. I'm gonna react it with chlorine again, Cl2. The formula is MH3, therefore I'm gonna have AlCl3. Next step is to balance it. So you can see I've got three chlorines on the right-hand side. That's a big odd number, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double it. This gives me six chlorines and two aluminiums. On my left hand side then, I can move on and I can go to my chlorine, which I've got two of. I can triple it, put a three in front, and that will give me three times two equals six. And then my aluminiums, I've got one, I need two, so I can put a two in front of it. So as long as you can remember this general formula, it doesn't matter what metal they give you, it's easy to work out. So for example, if I have a look at calcium, look on the periodic table, it's in group two. So what I do is I just swap the Ng for Ca, which gives me the formula of Ca plus Cl2 goes to CaCl2, which is already balanced. If I had sodium, which is in group 1, I would replace my K, so I'd have 2Na plus Cl2 goes to 2NaCl. And if I had gallium, which is in group 3, I'd replace aluminium with it. So it would be 2Ga plus 3Cl2 goes to 2GaCl3. This works the same if you change the halogen, so for example if I use bromine, all I have to do is replace the Cl part, which you can see here gives me 2Na plus Br2 goes to 2NaBr, Ca plus Br2 goes to CaBr2, and 2Ga plus 3Br2 goes to 2GaBr3. Right, let's have a go and see how much you've picked up from that then. So question one, write the word equation for the reaction between lithium and bromine for two marks. You get one mark for your reactants, one mark for your products. And then number two, write the balanced equation for the reaction between lithium and bromine, magnesium and iodine, and aluminium and fluorine. Have a go, we'll see how you've done, and we'll mark it in a minute. Okay, let's see how much you've picked up. So if we start off with writing the word equation for the reaction between lithium and bromine, we are going to start off with our reactants, which is lithium and bromine. Even if you can't remember how to do this in the exam, you get one mark just for putting the reactants in, so make sure you do that. Now remember, you take the name of the metal, which is lithium, you take the halogen, and you change it from INE to IDE. So you get one mark for that. On to the balanced equations. So you should know the formula for lithium is Li. You know that the halogens are diatomic by now, so Br2. And then it's remembering, right, lithium is in group 1. 
Therefore, you need one of that and one of that. So it's L, I, B, R. You then need to balance it. I've got two bromines over there, so I'm going to put two in front of my L, I, B, R. I've then got two lithiums, so I need to double this. Now you'll get one mark for your left-hand side, one mark for the correct formula for lithium bromide, and one mark for your balancing. If you look at magnesium and iodine, magnesium is Mg, iodine again diatomic, so I2, go across, and you can see here it's a group 2 element, therefore it is going to be Mg I2. It's already balanced, so you get three marks for just having the left and the right hand side here. And then finally, aluminium, which is AL, fluorine, which is F, but it's diatomic, so F2, and that will form ALF3, because it's in group 3. The next thing I need to do, that's an odd number in a big compound, so I'm going to double it. That gives me two aluminiums and six fluorines, so I can put a 3 in front of my F2, which gives me 6, and then I can put a 2 in front of my AL. Again, you get one mark for your reactants, one mark for your products, and one mark for your balancing. That's pretty much it for this video. There is a review question, which is write the word equation for the reaction between potassium and fluorine, very similar, and then the balanced equations for potassium and fluorine, calcium and astatine, and gallium and iodine. You will need a periodic table, probably, to, to learn some of those symbols. That brings this video to an end. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can have a look at my latest video up there. You can also have a look at my website if you haven't seen it before, and you can click on subscribe down below. Bye now.